we come to the Wu Dang uh, 34 short form move. Um, 34 moves short form Wu Dang Tai Chi form. And we're going on, we did this square. So there's a few different sections of move seven, which was wave the hands in clouds. But we're going to go the round style now, okay, and still do it in little few sections, okay, probably not so many sections. But um, the last move of the Wu Dang 34 short form, we're doing the round bit of it at the moment, wave the hands in clouds, the number move seven, move seven. Um, the first, we started from six, so let's get into it already. So, as far as it goes, so we've got this sort of horse riding stance here, feet slightly at an angle, but not Charlie Chaplin, sort of horse riding stance. Again, as with all these, no matter what Tai Chi instructor you meet, if they tend to go deep, 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 and you've got injuries in your knees and you don't suit them, don't go there, okay? Um, if you have to come up tall, do it, okay? Remember, it's your unit, your mind, the body, no matter what holistic thing you're doing, okay? So, it's not one set way, but again, if you can sit down a little bit here, shoulders over hips, head over shoulders. This is number six move, okay, we're on the round version. And this is where we ended up. This sort of bird's beak hand there on the right, and this palm here. At the end of single whip, that's number sixth move. Now, from here, this is round, round version, okay, we're coming to here. The hand comes here. We turn our eye line to the right hand, it comes across, and this left hand at the same time comes down to here. Okay, again, from here, we're looking this way, this hand comes up. So again, we've got a lot of this going on, okay, clockwise, anti-clockwise, they pass, but we're going to come here, again, from here, as soon as this hand gets to here, okay, we're going to see this right hand and this left hand's here, let's go for the left hand first, this comes across the eye line, this comes to here. Okay, this right hand passes down. And we come into the midline with this left hand, we square up our stance. Okay, imagine there's that skewer through your head. If you turn off that skewer, then when we turn to our left here, okay, we soften, we do the opposite with the leg. We soften this left leg and this right hand comes to here. Okay, that's the section we're doing. I'm gonna repeat that a couple of times. Okay, so remember we're coming from move six. Like I say, it's up to you how deep you go, but this is sort of like, you know, sort of normal-ish, um, how you would stand. So again, from move six. From here, the bird's big hand, which is the right hand, goes here. Okay, as that happens, we turn, we look at this right hand. Okay, this left hand comes down, we're turning, okay, and as this crosses the midline, goes past this hand, okay, as it goes past this hand, we, this right hand as it was, this left hand goes past the right hand, we come down with the right hand here, so it's slightly palm nearly facing that way, not completely, at an angle, and the left palm faces you, coming across the midline. Okay, they all happen together these, so we square up the stance, okay, so it's nice and neutral there, shoulders over hips, head over shoulders again, but we've gone from here, so we've gone from here, let's go back on that, so here, we come from here to here, we soften this knee, okay, this is sort of straight-ish, obviously, it's always a soft, soft joint, even on this straight leg, okay, and our weight's on this right leg, we are facing this right hand, okay, and then this left hand comes across the midline and we come to here. So again, this, these hands pass. And again, I'll do this sort of fast-ish. We come to here, okay, again. So this right hand comes here to start off with and it comes across the body. So we square there, but when we change onto this leg here, this softens this left knee, and we've got the, the right hand here. Okay, we've done it a few times. There's a lot going on. Moves within the moves, these are. So, bird's beak hand here, palm hand here. So, got that horse riding stance-ish. Again, soft knees there, slightly out and angle the feet. Again, we turn towards the right hand. Can't a chop style there. Looking towards that right hand, we've got weight on this right knee, slightly soft on the knee, 
or a little bit softer, should I say, a little bit more bent, okay? And then this left hand's coming across, okay? They pass clockwise and anti-clockwise. This right palm's facing that way a little bit at an angle, so not completely that way, okay? Which is basically pronated. So again, it's not completely supinated or pronated. It's in the middle, like an angle. So more towards pronation. This is supination, supinated the hand. But again, as they pass clockwise and anti-clockwise, that skewer for your head, you turn to here. This is the center line of the body, okay? Notice this hand's come down. And we turn towards this left hand to here. This right hand's coming here. Okay, one more time, okay? To get this section of the seventh move. So from here, yeah, so first big hand from move six. Here, I'll do a little bit faster, a little bit more round as it were. So right hand comes here, okay, this hand's coming down. Again, soft knee this, so the weight's on the right leg. Again, clockwise and clockwise, they pass. Look at the hands, they're moving in sequence at the same time. Now skewer through your head towards the midline, everything's square there. But then you go onto this left leg here. And you end up here. Okay, that's the first section of the seventh move, round style. Now, because that's the way it'd be done, round style. So we've done the square, just to get all the little nuts and bolts in there, the moves and the moves. Same with this, I've sectioned it off, because even though we're doing it round, this it just looks like you're sort of doing this with your hands loads and loads of times to really break it down. So that's the round move there. Waving hands in clouds, number seven move of the 34 Wudang form round version. Okay, so we've done all the square on this, on the waving the hands in clouds. Uh, and the Wudang form there, yes, so that's the end of that. Again, repetition, repetition, repetition. So you, so you don't even have to think about it. And it's in your subconscious then and